everyone and welcome to Mary Kelly. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm going to show you how I am using my clove water to boost my hair growth and the total amount of products that I am using is three products. If my scalp is too dry I'll use this instead of this. So I've made uh, videos on these DIYs. I'm going to link these videos in the description below. So if you want, you can just go and check them out. I've just taken the front of my hair out and I'm going to do a very quick length check. Here is where my hair is somewhere, somewhere here. Right, that's where my hair is. And then this is the back part of my hair. And it is somewhere yeah this is where my hair is so I'll use this as a reference to see if my hair has grown or if it's not growing so now I'm just going to show you how I'm using this clove water on my hair so I put a little bit more onto my scalp and then I put less on the hair because I don't want my hair to dry out I'm very very careful with that I don't want any breakage I just spray the scalp like this it's actually easier when the hair is braided than when it's not braided. So I'll just spray generously onto the scalp, like so, and rub it in to make sure it really gets into the pores and make my hair grow. Like that. Just keep spraying onto the scalp. And then after that, I will use this moisturizer. I use this on the scalp and I use it on, on the hair. And I also spray a little bit onto my scalp as well. It's done. Don't forget the edges. Do not, I repeat, don't forget the edges. You know? <laughs> don't, don't you dare. If you if you skip your edges, uh, <laughs> so do your edges and make sure, yeah, you don't um, neglect the edges. So you got a full a full hairline. And then after this, I do the hair. And what I do with the hair as well, I don't put too much cloth cloth spray on my hair yet. Because I'm still a little bit um, oops so just put some cloth water just slightly on the hair I don't want to dry hair so I put less less is better <laughs> that's it already done I can feel my hair is damp I'll work it into the hair and I'll put some on, on, on the ends of the hair this is where my hair breaks a lot so I will be gentle and I also focus on that area You know what? Clove actually smells quite good. It smells like wood, like almost like you're in a forest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, I'll spread this. Not too much. This is my moisturizer. This will keep my hair absolutely soft, as you can see. My hair is looking good. So this clove, I think, I will keep on with it because it's not drying out my hair the way I'm using it. And this is all to moisturize the hair and prevent uh, breakage and prevent the cloth from drying out hair. So guys, this is how I'm using my cloth water to grow my natural hair. I will be coming back with an update just to give an update if it's working or if it's not working for my hair so thank you everyone for watching and until next time goodbye